happening to YouTube? House for meritocracy. That's what you mean. Right. Which now yeah. you're complaining about. I remember when he was talking about uh, the tea party. He's like, I don't understand why these tea baggers are so racist. Okay, okay. Yeah. And it's like, oh well. So there you go. Now you're complaining about the fact that everything. This audio is so bad. Is seen through the lens of race. You dismissed an entire group of people. An ideology of people, the Tea Party, which, yeah. by the way, Rick Santelli, the rant was about taxation without representation. The, the idea was, listen, we're now increasing taxes. The deficit is a problem. We have wars that aren't really even being approved, right? This is the issue. So Tea Party was about limited government. They left places cleaner than they found them. And you yeah. said, I don't understand, dismissing them entirely through some vulgar sexual innuendo, why these tea baggers. And you wonder that that'd be like Robert yeah. Byrd uh, with a hood outside a 60 civil rights protest saying, what's eating the spooks? Like you'd think. <laughs> right. Well, he's only 13 years behind. Stephen, so I think in 13 years, yeah, what it'll come time. back and say is actually Donald Trump's vaccine rollout plan. I think we're using like 85 percent of his original plan right. anyway. So maybe maybe Biden didn't do it. And just lot. to be clear, when I say no. when I do an impression of Robert Byrd saying spooks, yeah. that is very soft. Google Robert Byrd, fourth in line yeah. for the presidency yes. under Barack Obama. If the wrong planes went down, uh, Robert Byrd, N-word. This guy wasn't just in the Klan. He had Klan dental in a company car, okay? He had a 401k for recruiting and lynching. Uh, so 401kkk. Yes, 401kkk. Yes. <laughs> well, and, and he... So, I, I don't get it. Like, does he hate... Why He acts like he's, like, anti-Robert Byrd. A Democrat. When, like, Loki... Correct. It just, I'm just making sure I understand. They all were. Party affiliation. Details, yeah. baby. Yeah. Details. Usually we go Klansmen macro. are democratic. We would think. That's uh, kind of They true, take right? a vote as to where they burn the cross. <laughs> so, uh, this Don Lamont. <laughs> Come on. Oh, God. I can never say Don Lamont ever again. Reacting to the comments that Don Lamont made saying Jesus was not white, Crowder says Jesus probably looked more like a hijacker. He should pronounce it that way. He should. I am just walking in. It's like tonight on. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He said Don Lamont just like I do. Oh, no. Don Lamont. Hey. So Don Lamont uh, <laughs> urged people to hang a picture. He said, he said you need to hang a picture of uh, talking to white Americans because yeah. everything is racial now. Picture okay. of black Jesus to be more realistic about I God. Uh, you know what? Here's, let's just, here's a clip. We also have to start uh, being realistic about God and the Bible. And if you are a person of faith in this country, and, and you, we know America is built on faith and religious freedom, mm. then we have to, I think, a good way of starting is to present the true identity of Jesus, and that is as a black or a brown person, rather than someone who looks like a white hippie from uh, Sweden or Norway. And I think we should start with a true depiction of what Jesus looked like, and put that in your home, either a black Jesus or brown Jesus, um, because we knew Jesus looked more like a Muslim or someone who was dark, rather than someone who was blonde, uh, a blonde-looking carpenter. Well, I don't know, but he looked more like a Jew. <laughs> yeah, he Let's looks more that. like Dustin Hoffman than Ted McGinley. Most likely, but I tell you what, that would be the Don Lemon, there. Black Jesus, done. We got you, B. Covered. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Not. A oh come on, dude. Oh, that's just cruel for the sake of being fucking. Like that's just literally just like cruel for the sake of being cruel. It's like, haha, black people are like this. Oh my god, that's fucking gross, dude. Oh. Huh. They like that gave me physical cringe, dude. That that actually was Um What? More like a Jew? Can you break down the looks like a Jew statement though? Like what the fuck? I mean, Jesus was Jewish. I think that's what he was trying to say. Um even though he said it in like the dumbest way possible. In this courtroom. Fantastic. Good. I'm going to be apologizing yeah, it was again George to Floyd. <laughs> yeah. in Detroit. Oh, boy. Oh, Ryan, I like, I, look, I understand this, too. That's I understand the problem. point that he's making. Yeah. Uh, first off, I don't know what he talks about Swedish hippie. Uh, yeah, and blonde? I, I, there, you know, I'm not racist. From. I don't like the Swedes, and I don't like the Chech. I don't like the Swedes because they cheap shot you in hockey, and I don't like the Chech because nobody likes the Chech. Outside of that, it's fair game for everybody. But Jesus probably looked more, he probably looked more like a hijacker. He did not yeah. look like Mo's death. He was probably four different. foot eight. Yeah. Easy. Dark, darker skin. I'll give yeah. you that. But who played him on uh, Black Jesus, the show? Was it Charlie Murphy? Was it? Before he passed? I don't know. Maybe it was Terry Crews. I forget who played him on that show. By the way, you know, the most uh, accurate uh, biopic of Jesus that there's been. Just like.
Well, he's talking about migrants staying in hotels, crowders, coasts. At least they won't need. Is it as simple as a wall? Is it as simple as a wall and no. booting people who are here I- illegally? What would you do? And I think that Donald Trump was on the right path. Yeah. And of course, Joe Biden, I would believe, is on the wrong one. We have some numbers to reflect that. But right now, pre- former Vice President Joe Biden is spending eighty-six million dollars on uh, migrant hotel rooms. Um, what did I tell you? I told you they were going to fucking. When Joe Biden inevitably uh, utilizes the empty hotels, which they should, which is a very smart way to deal with the, uh, with the overflow facility problem, right? Um, what did I tell you? I told you that fucking uh, they were going to say, oh, they're putting them illegals in hotels. Like, they're so doing it. Quotations. In- yeah. This right. is heavy quotations. Right. Heavy quotations. I don't understand why motherfuckers are like, there's an active shooting in Boulder going on right now. Like, what do you want me to do, bro? Go and stop it? Like... I got it, but, like, I can offer zero fucking adequate coverage to an active shooter situation in Boulder, Colorado, uh, currently. At least they won't need maids. Right. <laughs> Hold on, let me go fix well, really, it, really, I would imagine it's like Lord of the Flies. It'll be a pecking order where some of them will become maids. Oh, that's true. That's uh, how it will work. So. <laughs> Listen, it's the 80-20 rule. Uh, that being said, um, they've partnered with some hotels, and the new ad campaigns are not going over well with audiences. Here at Motel. Hotel 16 per room, we care about you. That's why we offer the highest quality care at the most affordable prices. Comfortable, safe, it's a place where you can have it all. What the Maybe fuck? F- Wait, hold on. I'm worried that there's going to be some fucked up shit in here. Maybe find a friend or two along the way. Motel 16 per room. We'll leave the flashlight on for you. Not a black light. Nope. Don't run that. You don't want that. No. You're a cage away from home. You're a cage away from home. <laughs> I like the creature comforts. Uh. Also, I have a creature that I put in the cage and release only when there's a rival gang member. Mm. He's very scary. Mm. Yeah, he has many face tattoos that say the number 13. I feed him puppies and small people so that he gets a taste for it. Yeah. Hey, hey, Joe Biden, here's an idea. $86 million more for border security. How about that? Let's uh, let's stop the problem. Well, tomato, tomato. That's not a problem. Right? By the oh, way, what's right. that? What's a tomato? Is that a nightshade? <laughs> I'm not sure. I guess it's like, since Rush Limbaugh's fucking dead now, uh, Steven Crowder is basically trying to do as much like boomer, racist boomer jokes as he possibly can fit into 